um, to go back to some of the most memorable moments of your career. Since you were on the field for one of these, your famous Giants wide receiver, I want your take. Which Super Bowl catch is more impressive and why? David Tyree versus the Pats or Mario Manningham's Ooh. versus the Pats? <laughs> I mean, this is tough because obviously Mario <laughs> was my guy and like I watched, I was there for that one. You know, I watched that one with my own eyes. So that's a different thing. But I mean, the David Tyree catch is, is historic, right? I mean, that thing goes, you can literally, you know, make that, you freeze frame this photo and just put it in a statue in front of the giant stadium. And I think no one will have any issues with that. I mean, so um, that catch really good. It's called the catch for a reason. Um, you know, Rodney Harrison is still pretty upset about it. If you ask him today, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Um, but yeah, I think that, that that Tyree catch is the one. I mean, there's no there's no uh, disputing that. For the main play, could you walk me through uh, your experience on the field when, when it all went down? Because you said that was the one that you actually watched with your eyes. Yeah, so I remember, obviously, uh, during that game, me and Hakeem were getting double teamed, uh, especially on third down. Like, we were getting double teamed the whole game. So... We were picking our spots, obviously, making plays here and there. But we knew on that specific play that Mario was going to be the one. I, at least uh, internally. It wasn't like discussing the huddle or anything. But I knew Mario was going to get the one-on-one. -on -one. And if it stays one-on-one -on -one coverage, he's going to be the one to get the ball. Eli always threw to the one-on-one -on -one side. He gave us a shot always, no matter who you were. Um, so I knew he was going to get the opportunity. Once I saw the ball go up and I saw him catch it and I saw him kind of lean and drag those two feet in. Even in full speed, I was like, oh my God, he caught it. Like, this is it. We finally, you know, that's the play we needed on this drive to continue, you know? And um, and then watching the replay, I was a little nervous because you just never know on that side. So I didn't know if he kept his feet in. Watching the replay, I was like counting his feet, one, two, and I let out the biggest fist pump because I knew we were good. And, um, and the rest is his man, but that catch, was incredible. I, I hit him like once a month and just say thank you <laughs> every time. <laughs> I want to play a quick backtrack quiz. They say the Super Bowl goes by so fast that it can be a blur for some guys. So I want to see how well you mm -hmm. can recall these facts. All right, I have very few of them, so I won't I won't throw okay. you too off track. <laughs> 2011, who was the last team you lost to that season yeah. and who was the quarterback? The last team we lost to that season. I don't remember that at all. Um, you done? Who did we lose to? Washington. I'm, I'm stumped on that one. So you're fine. Washington. Okay, next question. How many points did the okay. Falcons score in the wild card game against you guys? Very few. Three, seven, six. It was very few. I don't remember the exact number. I'm. A, I'm gonna go with. Two. That's right. I knew it was very. I knew it was very small. <laughs> we got, it was like a safety. Was it a safety? It had to be a safety. This was kind of a fun one. I just we. I just want to know how many people in the huddle told Ahmad Bradshaw not to score at the end of the game. No one. Like no one. I think. Um, I think either, if you watch the tape back, right? I, I didn't even. I mean, this goes to show you that just how you know cerebral and, and, uh, and how smart Eli is. Because I'm just lining up. Actually, I might have been on the sideline, but I wasn't even thinking like that they were going to let us score or, or score too early or whatever. I was just like, uh, I was just like, man, we got to get in the end zone. But if you look at Eli coming out of the huddle, he kind of stops and like he, he starts to tell Amon like to, to go back to him. But he didn't want Amon to be thinking about too many things when he hands him the ball. So he was just it's like, ah, whatever. So when he handed him out the, the ball and the C parted, Amon was like, wait, what? And then he tried to like stop. But then he just kind of, his momentum carried him in the end zone. And it was the most anticlimactic touchdown. I was just like, are we, are we excited? Like, what's, what's going on here? <laughs> hey, sports fans. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.